Okay, let's talk about how our daily commute is about to get a serious, serious upgrade. And I'm not talking about a new subway line or, you know, slightly faster electric cars. We're talking about something straight out of a futuristic movie. I mean, really think about that question. Ready to hail a taxi in the sky? It feels like science fiction, right? But believe me, it's becoming a reality way faster than you might think. The whole idea of just pulling out your phone and summoning an aircraft like you would an Uber, well, it's pretty much here. And this isn't some far-off, maybe-in-our-lifetime kind of dream, nope. In Dubai, flying taxi operations are actually scheduled to start as early as next year. This is really putting the city at the absolute forefront of a brand new era in how we get around our cities. So what does this future actually look like? Because it's not just about the cool new vehicles, right? It's about the entire ecosystem, the whole shebang that has to support them. So let's break down the key technology and the infrastructure that's going to power this huge shift. First things first, for these taxis to work, they've got to have a place to land. And that's where vertiports come in. Just think of them as many airports, but they're seamlessly integrated right into the city, maybe on rooftops or right next to major transit hubs. And what about the flying taxis themselves? Well, the technical term you're going to hear a lot is EVTO. It stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. But really, all you need to know is that these are the quiet, all-electric aircraft designed specifically to navigate our dense urban environments. And here's the cool part. You won't just hear about it. You'll get to actually feel it. The show's organizers are creating this amazing, immersive experience where you can walk right into a realistic vertiport lounge and see exactly what it'll be like to wait for your flying taxi. So where is all this coming together? It's all happening at the Dubai Air Show 2025. And look, this isn't just another industry conference. It's being set up as the global launchpad for what the industry calls Advanced Air Mobility, or AM. Basically, the next generation of how we travel through the air. So you might want to mark your calendars for this. For five days, from November 17th to the 21st, the world's aviation leaders, the innovators, the regulators, they're all going to gather at Dubai World Central to pull back the curtain on the future of air travel. You know, the sheer scale of this event tells you everything you need to know. We're talking over 1,500 exhibitors. That number alone shows there's massive global investment and a shared belief that this technology is finally ready for prime time. This quote from Walid al-Blushi just nails it. The goal isn't to show you a bunch of blueprints or tiny models. It's about making this abstract idea of advanced air mobility something real, something tangible and exciting that anyone can understand. And that's why that word launchpad is just so perfect. This event is more than a showcase. It's the starting line. It's where the aircraft, the infrastructure, and this is crucial, the regulations that will govern this new kind of travel are all going to come together. You know, an innovation this big, it needs a whole ecosystem of pioneers. This is a massive undertaking, and it takes a really diverse group of companies to build this aerial future. So let's meet some of the key players who are making it happen. The field is just packed with a mix of industry giants and, you know, ambitious innovators. You've got companies like Archer and Joby. They're the well-known leaders, and they're unveiling their big market strategies. Then you have others like Autocraft, a UAE-based company, showing off incredible local innovation. It's a truly global effort. And this ecosystem, it's expanding fast. I mean, the arrival of first-time exhibitors like Sarla Aviation from India and Transfuture Aviation from China, that proves this isn't just some regional trend. No way. This is a global movement, with new players jumping into the race all the time. And the big established industry leaders? They're definitely taking notice. This comment from Joby Aviation's general manager basically confirms that the world is looking to the UAE not just as a host for a cool event, but as a leader that's actually driving this entire transformation forward. And let's be clear, this focus on advanced air mobility is no accident. It's all part of a much larger, very deliberate, strategic vision for the whole country to position itself right at the forefront of the next great leap in aviation. The ambition here is just, wow, it's incredibly clear. This quote reveals that the goal isn't just to use flying taxis, it's to build them. The UAE is aiming to become a global hub for advanced aviation manufacturing, actually supplying these vehicles to the rest of the world. And this isn't just wishful thinking. They're pursuing this through a very clear, actionable plan. Step one, create the global moment at the air show. Step two, build the actual physical infrastructure. And step three, use all that momentum to become a manufacturing powerhouse. 
And this plan is already in motion. It's not just some vision on paper. The country's first commercial vertiport, DXV, has already been announced. Real, concrete steps are being taken right now to build out all the necessary infrastructure. So, with the technology getting better and better, the key players all coming to the table, and this clear national vision in place, what's the big takeaway from all this? What happens after the showcase ends and everyone goes home? Okay, this is probably the most important thing to remember, the timeline. This is not some distant 10-year forecast. This is happening now. Commercial operations for flying taxis are slated to begin as early as next year. That's turning the concepts from the air show into a daily reality. And that leaves us with a final, pretty fascinating question, doesn't it? The technology is arriving at an incredible speed. But this is going to require so much more than just new vehicles and landing pads. It's going to reshape urban planning, regulation, and really how all of us live and move. The flying taxis are coming. The real question is, are we ready for them?